Today I have four different hats that I'm going to show you really quick how to put on over a vintage hairstyle um, or you could even just wear vintage hats with a more modern hairstyle. It doesn't matter. Whatever fits your style the best. Um, this particular hat I'm going to start with is a beaded pillbox hat. Uh, it is probably from about the late 1940s, early 1950s and this is how you would put it on. So, you place your hat sort of on your head with the front of the hat being the tallest part and then there's a slope to the back. And you could just leave it like this and it would probably stay, but your better bet would be to add a hat pin. So if you are at antique malls or if you find them on Etsy, eBay, things like that, um, hat pins are the biggest stick pin that you've ever seen and they literally just stick through the hat into your hair and then out the other side. And then your hat does not come off and you get a little sparkle there on the top and your hat will stay on. If you don't have a hat pin or you're terrified of pinning this big needle into your head, here's another option for you. So you can also just use bobby pins. So in this particular style, you would just sort of slide a bobby pin up and back and you would find another place to secure it on the other side of your head. Really with bobby pins all you're really trying to do is just not make them the focal point of what you're doing. And then I have another one just sticking right there on the side. It does change the shape of your hat just a tiny bit but it'll definitely keep your hat in place. So here is two more, three more hats to show you how you might place them on your head. So here is another hat that we're gonna put on real fast. This is a saucer pancake disc hat. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It happens to be in my store. So is the pillbox hat that I put on as well. Um, this one has a nice little feature. So it is fun to place on your hairstyle and highlight your little detail there. And you could find lots of different places to place your hat my particular hairstyle, as you can see, just lends itself to an asymmetrical style, so it's off kilter, but you could also absolutely put it straight on, depending on the style that you prefer. So, this particular velvet hat, I'm going to set on a slant, and again, just find some bobby pins, and it has a little ledge, you can just pop a bobby pin right there and find a little, whoops, drop your bobby pin. Find another little hidden spot it behind the front of your hairstyle and pop that in and then it is secure. I would probably pin another one right here behind this just because I like my hat to be really secure but however is comfortable for you. I can't emphasize enough that you're going to want to practice attaching and putting your hats on before you go out, especially photo shoot, big day, that sort of thing. All right, so I have a full coverage hat. This is actually a hat. It's a fedora style hat from the 30s. I tend to do 1940s styles, but I thought I would show you this hat as well. Um, this particular hat is a favorite that I have in the store, 
and as you can see this again is a very full coverage hat and kind of a bucket style this hat really lends itself to a hat pin um, I'm going to use a contrasting hat pin so you can really see where I place it so here is a little hat pin I'm going to put my pin here into a feature of my hair and you just have to learn how to be real gentle and careful with using a hat pin so that you do not stab yourself in the head. You might at some point, but as you can see, it is attached. And now I'm ready for any windstorm. Uh, I will tell you that you are more than welcome to use more than one hat pin. So here is another just glass top hat pin. You could also pin it here to the side just for added security. And now your hat is really not going anywhere. And even if the wind is really pushing, your hat is going to stay in place. So that is how you could secure a full coverage style hat with a hat pin. And then uh, lastly, I have one more hat. The first three hats are all hats that I do happen to have for sale in my store, but this last hat is my personal favorite and is part of my personal collection. And this hat is not a candidate for a hat pin. This one is definitely a candidate for bobby pins, so I wanted to show it to you as well. All right, so this again is one of my all time favorite hats. This hat has these two little points on the inside. It's kind of a saucer pancake. And as you can see, I'm going to set it right here behind the elements of my hair that I have decided to style my hair with. And I'm going to press it down. And again, this is a candidate for bobby pins. So I'm going to start at the loosest point this time here on the top and I'm just placing a bobby pin over part of the hat and part of my hair. And then take a bobby pin here. I'm looking in the feedback. There we go. And voila! There you go. Now your hat is secure and you now know how to place a hat in your hairstyle with two different tools that hopefully you will have so that you can rock a vintage hat with your next vintage inspired or maybe fully vintage outfit. I hope that this video has been helpful and if you have any suggestions on more videos that I could help show you how to do vintage styling, please feel free to let me know down below. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me and take care. Bye.